So I want to keep this a practical video on basically how to take your heart rate really. You're lying in bed and bear in mind you can do this any, you don't have to do it in bed. I mean obviously your morning heart rate, resting heart rate needs to be done in bed. But if you want to take your pulse in the middle of the day or if you want to take your pulse out on the run manually, you can do that too. There's really two ways to do it. Two fingers, not your thumb because there's more of a pulse in your thumb. So we use these two fingers and under here on the side here, there's a little, I don't know what to call it in there. <laughs> You'll find it. There's a place where you can feel your pulse. So just play around a little bit, be quiet. And there it is. You notice know your pulse. If you can't find it, just look around a little bit. The other place is here on the wrist, on the side of the thumb. Uh, going down here, there's like a couple of tendons and in between those two tendons, you can feel your pulse. It's best on the re le left arm because it's closest to the heart, but you can do it on the right arm too. Play around again, find your spot and there it is, there's the pulse. Now, in order to take your pulse, you have to obviously um, have a watch because you have to have a, you have to time it. It's beats per minute, right? So if you want to do a full minute, you can do that. And that's what I do in the morning. I'm just chilling out. I'll take a full minute. Uh, I'll just put my fingers there. I'll look at the watch and it'll just be in, in some kind of random place. Let's say now it's on 15, 16, 17, the seconds, 19, 20, hits 20. I start counting. Then I'm just counting, counting, counting. And every now and then I'll have a look at the watch. And then as, as soon as it's approaching 20 again, one minute later, I'll get ready and then 20, okay, stop. And then whatever I count it to, that's my uh, beats per minute. That's my heart rate. Usually in the morning for me, it's about 50 nowadays. As you're getting fitter, your resting heart rate will also go down. So that's one way to do it. But of course, if you're, you know, if you don't want to spend one minute, you can obviously do 20 seconds and just time whatever number you get to by three. And then you have 60 seconds, one minute. Um, even lower, you can do 10 seconds. But you know, the lower you go in terms of the seconds, the more room for error there is. So, uh, but that's something you have to keep in mind. When I'm out for a run, if I, I use my watch, it, it, you know, it uh, reads the heart rate from my heart rate um, monitor. Uh, but every now and then I want to check if it's correct. I want to just do a manual test. And because when you're stopping to take your heart rate, your heart rate will start going down, right? If you're out running you start recovering as soon as you stop. So you have to be quick, you have to take your heart rate quick. And what I do then is that I just do, do it for like six seconds. I count it for six seconds and then I just time it by 10, you know? So if my heart rate is 12 for six seconds, I know my heart rate is roughly around 120 beats per minute, right? I think that's it though. I think that is for today. Um, you know, it's a good tool taking your heart rate and it's really pretty easy you just but it takes a little bit of practice to begin with finding where to do the heart rate as well as being able to sort of look at the seconds on the watch uh, while counting there you have you don't have to you, you shouldn't focus on counting the seconds then you lose track count your heart rate but just lock in on the number where you started so if I'm starting at 30 seconds I'll just start counting. I, knew, I know I started at 30 seconds and then when it reaches 30 seconds again, I'll stop counting. So that takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Um, we can talk more about heart rate another time. There's a lot to say about heart rate. The heart is an essential um, organ for health, for, for the body. I mean, you wouldn't live without the heart, but especially as endurance athletes, we're very interested in, in how, how the heart works. So. I'd love to get into that in future videos. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, do you take your morning heart rate? What is your resting heart rate? Endurance athletes, they always like, like to brag about their resting heart rate. As I said, mine is it's about 50 nowadays. I've been down to like 46, 45 at one point. Uh, probably due to some other reasons than fitness though. Um, let me know your resting heart rate. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, want to learn more or whatever, you can always contact me. You can just go to our website at sweetnaturalliving.com and go to the contact and you can send me an email there. Hope your running is going well. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. See you around.